margin? Uh, will that be stretched right now because the costs are high, you don't have the deposit base. What will the margin picture look like at the close of the fiscal? Also any long term target if you have? Margins will, uh, uh, if you mean NIMS and all yes, of that. Uh, so that it's difficult to say exactly how uh, it's going to it's going to pan out. It depends, as I said, on how the competition behaves, um, how uh, how interest rates track, um, how quickly we are able to bring our own cost of funds down. I don't uh, see a very significant shrinkage of margins vis-a-vis -vis last year. Um, our overall cost of funds only. Uh, cost of operations obviously is higher, mm. but our cost of funds is not going to be much higher than it was last year. Okay, so um, your margin will be in the range of? They've always been in the range of about, you know, two odd percent. On the listing of the bank, you're starting operations on the 1st of October. Yeah. Uh, just take us through the listing process, what it means for the shareholders, the de-merger process. So we list uh, on the 6th holding... of November, October 1st, the two entities become demerged. Um, uh, IDFC Bank and IDFC Limited. Uh, if you are an existing shareholder of IDFC, you will get one share in IDFC Bank um, such that you own 47% of your shareholding in IDFC Bank directly and 53% of your ownership in the bank will come indirectly through IDFC Limited, right. which will also have uh, three other subsidiaries. Aside from that, what another thing I want to focus on when you talk about shareholders is the valuation of the stock. Yeah. It's more comparable to the public sector pairs yeah. than the private sector pairs. And why is that? Do you think other investors not buying the growth story? No, I, I think that there's a lot of confusion right now, uh, understandably so, about how the scripts will uh, will trade. Okay. Uh, people don't have full visibility um, uh, into the bank. The bank is not listed yet. I suspect that once the bank gets listed yes. and we start engaging investors directly mm -hmm. um, and all the disclosures that go with it mm -hmm. and there's direct communication between the investor base um, and the bank, uh, that things will change. On the NPA picture, I mean, the RBI regulators introduced various measures, SDR, outside of SDR, uh, the transformation, the JLF now creating an empowered group, 525, you name it, there's several. So do you think all of these measures are enabling enough that we've seen the worst of the asset quality problems and now there might be better times ahead? Or do you think there's more hand-holding required from the government or any more regulatory enabling environment uh, that further needs improvement? A lot has been done, uh, but one thing that could really help uh, this whole process will be the enactment of a solid bankruptcy law. The flexibility that banks have um, in ensuring that equity owners uh, take their fair share of the pain uh, will be greatly enhanced um, if we have a solid well-functioning bankruptcy law uh, that will uh, increase the ability significantly of banks to actually lead the resolution um, rather than prevaricating as a lot of, a lot of them are today. Okay, uh, since credit growth is so inter, I mean, closely linked to the growth of the economy, I just want your outlook on that as well. The Reserve Bank seems a little hawkish. What is your view? Do you think things on the ground, the ease of doing business, investment cycle, is that returning? Has there been an improvement and do you anticipate uh, better growth going ahead? I do anticipate better growth, uh, but um, uh, I'm again on record as saying that uh, uh, even a 50 basis point cut does not get us to 9% growth. There's a lot more that needs to be done for us to break out of the 7.5-8% range if we want to get to 10%. The intent of government I think is very clearly demonstrated, but to translate that into action that people then, then experience mm. and say, oh, you know, it's now much easier for me to just um, set up a business and be confident about that. That's a process. It will mm. require um, some years mm. um, uh, before it really becomes real. Uh, my personal view is that until that happens, mm. um, the ability of our country to grow comfortably and sustainably without too much inflation or asset price bubbles, etc., mm. etc., developing, or too many other stresses and strains developing um, at 10%. Mm. 
we're not going to be able to do it. All right. On that note, thank you so much thank for you joining very much. us. And all the very best for thank your you. bank. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.